Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you follow me on Instagram, you would know that I recently found some footage that I thought I lost a while back ago. This was probably when we first moved into the studio. So I was commissioned by Facebook. I know, I can't believe it. I was shocked when they reached out to me and asked to make them 400 lip balms for a private event that they were having. And to be completely honest, I was so scared to even accept the order because I wasn't even sure if I was gonna be able to meet the deadline that they were asking. But Peter, of course, was so supportive and he kept telling me, don't worry, just take the order. I'll help you. You got this, just pace yourself. And of course, I've never worked with such a well-known company before, so I was really excited for that. But since then, I've actually attended their diversity and inclusion day that they had here in their New York office. It was super fun. They had a bunch of other small businesses there that their employees just kind of came out and shopped around and we were able to network. So that was a really fun day. Um, this particular order that I'm working on now with the lip balms is being shipped out to their California office. So here, as you can see, I'm just filling in the lip balms using the pipettes. I think that's what you call it. I'm just filling it in one by one. Some people have those trays where you can just pour all of your lip balm liquid and it just falls into the tube automatically. I don't have that. I kind of don't mind doing it one by one. Um, I know it, it takes a little bit more time, but that's just the way that I work. I haven't really invested in one of those big pouring trays yet. Like I mentioned before, I thought I lost this footage and I'm so, so glad that I found it. Um, I've said it plenty of times before, I'm content is content and I'm glad that I'm able to just put this out there and give you guys something to watch and I hope that you guys are enjoying it. To be honest, it's been so hard lately to film and edit and get things out there for you guys since having the baby. Just this video alone took me about a week or a week and a half to edit, so I hope you guys really like it. Give us a thumbs up and subscribe, please. So I was totally freaking out for a minute because I just ran out of label paper for all of the lip balms that I have to do. And then I forgot that I have this cool new printer that I can just print it out there and then print, cut it out on my Cricut. So, duh, no need to panic, Judith. Let's get it together. Okay, see, this is what I don't want. How do I print this on the Cricut so that it doesn't peel off like this? I want it to peel off as an entire sticker sheet. If anyone knows how to do that, please tell me because I can't figure this shit out. Um, all right, so I guess I'm gonna, because look what I had to do. I had to cut all the other ones out individually and there's no way I'm doing that for like 200 of these. I only need 200 more because um, my labels finished my other label maker finished and it's on a four week back order so so after 30 minutes of youtubing it i finally figured out how to have it cut all onto one sheet um because i wanted to be able to peel off the sticker individually i don't know if you can tell see it'll come off like that and then i'm able to peel everything off on one sheet that's exactly what i wanted now i just need to print out 15 more pages of this fun Okay, so I just had to stop because I got this delivery from Uline. And if you guys don't use Uline for your supplies, um, then you're missing out because they are amazing. In most cases, you, I ordered this yesterday and I just got it today. So, and these are samples. They give you samples of things, um, of any of the items if you wanna try them. So I think that's awesome. So you get samples before you commit to buying larger quantities and Cool. So these are, what color is that? That's not, oh, it looks silver. Got it. Okay. So these are um, little Ziploc bags. What size is this one? 
Oh, okay. I gotta remember the size. So these are little Ziploc bags, and this is where I wanted to offer my tea lights. Not my tea lights. I wanted to offer wax melts. I filled this up with wax melts because I thought that would be pretty cool. How do you actually open this? Oh, God. Okay. So, okay, this one is way too big. Yeah. So I will be using that one because that's like a jumbo size for tea lights. Whoa. <laughs> no, this is the jumbo. <laughs> Definitely a no for this one. And then this is like the next biggest size. No, that's way too huge. Okay, this is the one. And I think this is the four by six. Let me see. Okay, so this is a five by eight. So now let's see how many tea lights I can actually put in here. I don't know if I, I mean, it's okay, it's nice. I thought this was gonna be white, not just the back. I don't know if I like that, it's kinda whack. So I made these. Let me see how many can actually fit in a bag. So, one, two, four, six, eight. Okay, so that's 40. That's a little too much, I think, right? Because then it's going to be squished. So I could do that. That doesn't look bad. And then I'll put like a cute little label here. This guy is funny. He's just driving like a maniac. Look at him. He's like not even going in a straight line back and forth. He's like zig. I just did all of that work packing all the lip balms in here and when I went to flip the box over I noticed that the box was all dirty with wax from the table I can't send out a wholesale package like that so now I need to unpack all 400 lip balms and repack it into a new box this is why I have 
different stations for different things, you know? Like this station is for pack, uh, for making candles, and then this station is for packing, which I wasn't even using for packing, so my fault. Now I have to redo this. Fun stuff. Okay, let's try this again. New box, clean bottom, good to go.